Hi there, my name is Kayleen and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be crocheting this very easy drawstring bag with a flowy texture and a frilly edge, and it's great for everyday use. It's made with a one row repeat stitch and works up pretty quickly. To make this drawstring bag, I'm going to be using light worsted weight or DK cotton yarn with a 3.75 millimeter hook. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle at the end of the project and two optional stitch markers. And I also recommend that you have something to measure your work with. Once you have everything you need, let's get started. We're going to begin with the base of the bag. Start with a slip knot. Then chain 24. Once you have 24 chains, work one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And I like to work my stitches into the bottom loop of my chains because this creates a neater foundation row. Next, continue working one single crochet in the same way into the next chain. and continue doing this all the way down the chain until you only have one chain remaining. I've worked one single crochet into every single chain all the way down the chain, and here I have one chain remaining. We're going to work three single crochets into this chain. So insert your hook into the bottom loop of the chain and work your first single crochet. Now rotate your work a little, work your second single crochet over this yarn tail. Then rotate a little more, work your third single crochet again over this yarn tail. Now you should have three single crochets in this last chain, and you will also notice that your work is now upside down. We're going to be working into the opposite side of the stitches that we made earlier. So insert your hook into the remaining chain loop of the next stitch. Then make a single crochet over this yarn tail. Now do the same thing into the next stitch, remembering to hold this yarn tail down. Now you can give this yarn tail a little pull, which tightens up the gap here. And you will continue to put in one single crochet into every stitch until you only have one stitch remaining here. I've come to the end of my chain with one stitch remaining. Before we finish off the bag base, we need to work two single crochets into this last stitch. Now join with a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. Now we are finished with the foundation row, which is the bag base. You should have a total of 48 stitches all the way around. And my work is about 14 centimeters long. Let's move on to the body of the bag. Begin by chaining 2. For this project, this chain of 2 will never count as a stitch. Now work 3 double crochets into the same stitch. Skip 3 stitches. Then work 3 double crochets into the next stitch. Now 
again, skip 3 stitches and work 3 double crochets into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way around. By the end of the first round, you should have 12 groups of 3 double crochets and you should have 3 unworked stitches and a slip stitch at the end of the round. Now to finish off the first round, we're going to completely ignore the chain of 2 and join with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. Now we are finished with round 1. Right now we're looking at the outside of the bag. To begin round 2, turn your work so that you're looking at the inside of your bag. Chain 2. Remember that this chain of 2 doesn't count as a stitch. Now we're going to be working into the spaces in between each group of 3 double crochets. Work your first double crochet into the first space. In the previous round, we skipped 3 stitches in between each group of 3 double crochets. You're going to find the second stitch that you skipped. And you're going to work one long double crochet into that stitch. Then, work your third double crochet back into the same space. Now you should have three double crochets, one regular double crochet, one long double crochet into the second stitch that you skipped, and another regular double crochet. Moving on to the next space. Work one double crochet into the next space. Then one long double crochet into the second stitch that you skipped. Then one more double crochet back into the same space. Now you have 3 double crochets, 1 regular double crochet, 1 long double crochet, and another regular double crochet. You're going to repeat this into the next space and in every space all the way around. I'm now at the end of round 2 and to finish off this round, ignore the chain of 2 and join with the slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. And this finishes off round 2. Moving on to round 3, turn your work so that you're looking at the outside of your bag again. Chain 2. Now this is going to be very similar to the previous round. Work one regular double crochet into the first space between the two groups of double crochets. Then, this time, your long double crochet goes into the second double crochet of the set of 3 below. Then like before, work one more double crochet back into the same space. And do the same in the next space. One regular double crochet, one long double crochet, and another regular double crochet back into the same space. Repeat this all the way around, and once you reach the end of the round, join the same way as in the previous round, and turn your work to begin the next round. Then you're going to repeat exactly what you did in round 3, 
until you have 15 rounds. And don't forget to turn your work at the beginning of each round in order to get the texture we need for this bag. So go ahead and pause the video and I will see you again at the end of round 15. I'm back with 15 rounds and my bag is now about 15 centimeters high. If yours isn't, you can adjust the number of rows to obtain this height and I recommend that you do an odd number of rows so that you finish on the right side and not the wrong side. This just makes it easier to move on to the last round which I'm about to demonstrate. So once you're satisfied with the height of your bag, we'll begin our last round. We're going to be working into the top of every double crochet of the previous round. Start with chain 1 and single crochet back into the same stitch. Now chain 3, then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 3, again single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 3, then single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Again, chain 3. I think you see the pattern, so repeat this all the way around. I'm now at the end of the round. By the end of the round, you should have a total of 36 single crochets with chain 3 in between each stitch. You're going to chain 3 after your 36th single crochet. Then join with a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. Yarn under instead of yarn over to get a tighter join. Now cut your yarn and weave in the end of your yarn. We're finished with the body of the bag, so all we have to do now is weave in the strings to complete this project. I've prepared two chains of 90, and they are 49 centimeters long. We're going to weave one in from the right and the other in from the left using these gaps in the top row of double crochets. I've also marked the places to weave them in, and that's the first group of double crochets in round 15, and the sixth group of double crochets. So you should have five groups of double crochets in between your stitch markers. So once you're ready, let's begin. Using your yarn needle, insert your chain into the gap next to your first set of double crochets. Then simply weave it under and over, under and over each set of double crochets all the way around, pulling as you go. And I've just pulled my chain out through the last gap. 
and you can go ahead and remove your needle then adjust so that both ends are the same length then you will see that your first set of double crochets is in between the two ends of your chain so now you can go ahead and remove this stitch marker let's weave in the second chain I'm going to turn my bag upside down and I'm going to insert my needle in from the other side and that is the gap right next to your other set of March double crochets then like before weave it under and over each set of double crochets all the way around and pulling as you go and you also want to pay attention to your other chain if your other chain went over this one goes over as well if your other chain went under this one goes under as well just pulled my chain out through the last gap you can now remove your needle but just so that both ends are the same length and now you can remove the stitch marker now it just so that all the ends are the same length And tie a knot on both ends Now you can cut off any remaining yarn ends and we are finished thank you for crocheting along with me if you enjoyed this tutorial please consider supporting me by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and it's always nice to hear from you so if you made this drawstring bag please consider leaving a comment down below i have more tutorials coming up so i hope to see you again in my next video